and let him put the APO service. And Morris, tell me what happened yesterday and how it's left you and your colleagues feeling. We just got into our trucks and started them up to go to the gate and we were told, hold on, there's a meeting in the office and we were told that the company's closing in the story. And you're sitting in now and what are you prepared to do? We're sitting in now and we're going to stay until we get our entitlements because all we got yesterday was a couple of bob that's no good to us. A lot of us was a short eight weeks money, three weeks money, four weeks money and so we're waiting for our rights. And for a man who's given nearly four decades of service to a company like this, how does yeah. it make you feel to be treated like this? Unbelievable, like this crazy, you know, unbelievable. So, we're going to sit here for the long run. If we have to do it on the cortex then we're going to do that. And Councillor Chris O'Leary, you were involved in the Vita Cortex situation as well. Did you think you'd see another situation like this? No, I mean, I was in, out with the, the lads in Vita Cortex down, down in Little Island with Target Express. I thought that we might have not seen any more of, of, of the way employers treat employees, that there were certain ground rules going to be laid out. Um, for any employer to come along and just say to people, thanks very much, here's your P45s, they don't bother coming in, that's it, and go to the, the Department of Social Protection for any other payment, is really, really, really stupid to, to an all-time low in many respects. These men, as Morris has said, have given years decades as, as you know of dedication building up a business that that seems to be a very thriving business i'm here this morning to see the number of people coming in and out and um, you know wondering when it have been contractors who've got contracts here people who've subscribed now for 12 months service and um, to be told that it's no longer in, in operation there are questions to be asked here quite clearly is about over 200,000 due to the workers in payments and um, we're looking for a meeting with the liquid liquidator at this stage how do I become involved? The workers contacted me yesterday um, and I advised them to see, come to the meeting yesterday at 5 to see what, was, what they were going to get and based, based on that then we decided, look lads, you can walk out the gate, go to the hard road or you can put up a fight and the lads have decided to put up a fight. Bill Odriscoll from Longboats in Ban Temple. And Bill, what have you decided to do today for the workers? Yeah, I, I was a customer of theirs and I used to get on with the lads for years and you know Said, you know, I lost their jobs a week's wage after 40 years, some of them.